what is the current status of our in-house testing capabilities? Yes, uh, one of the more exciting uh, developments for Quia Delta, and I've been talking about it for some time. So a couple weeks ago, um, we secured uh, test samples, test kits, uh, that run on a platform we call BD Max. And then just this last weekend, we were informed by Abbott Laboratories, one of the, um, the nation's largest um, uh, laboratory companies, and this is probably the one you've been hearing about nationwide, about a, a new testing uh, capability called ID Now. Um, it was kind of purported to be a bedside um, you know, testing um, kit, but we, we will actually run it in our laboratory. But we had been repeatedly told no, that we weren't going to get any testing kits. And then shockingly, surprisingly, um, we were informed by our representative this weekend, this last weekend, that we would. So we have now actually received um, testing kits from both uh, BD Max and Abbott. Um, we actually, from BD Max, uh, we received 360 um, tests this week. And then from Abbott, we received 960 tests. We also now have 13,000 uh, nasal swabs. Uh, that was a concern about a week ago, but we got a very large shipment that came in. Um, so we use that swab and we use saline solution to then you know, put it in a, in a test tube and run it uh, in one of the analyzers. Um, so we now have uh, quite uh, extensive in-house testing capability. So working with our physicians, we've now developed a, a formal testing protocol that for all inpatients that are symptomatic, all physicians, employees, including residents that are symptomatic, that we will perform the test in-house using our own testing capability. We will no longer send those to the county or to any outside laboratory. Um, that will allow us to obtain results much quicker. In fact, the, the Abbott tests that we received the greatest number of testing kits uh, will produce results in 30 minutes or less. So very, very important for us to know uh, if we have a patient that is positive, it affects you know, what kind of personal protective equipment we use and, and just the isolation techniques we use. And then also to be able to test a physician or a healthcare worker uh, that may feel they were exposed or exhibiting symptoms, again, to be able to test them very quickly and uh, quarantine them at home uh, if, if they in fact do test positive or the peace of mind to know that they um, test negative um, at that point. So um, we will not be testing asymptomatic um, uh, staff, physicians, uh, employees, residents. Uh, we will not test them if they're asymptomatic um, just for uh, the peace of mind, but that, that is why we are asking everybody to wear a mask just in case they are um, infected but are asymptomatic. So we will only use the in-house testing on those um, populations that are in fact symptomatic. With respect to the public, uh, we will continue to collect specimens on them for every patient that uh, yes, every person that is symptomatic out there in the community, uh, we will continue to work through the county to get the, the, uh, the person under investigation number, and they'll continue to come to our specimen collection site, and we will send uh, the, that specimen to the county uh, to be run on its analyzer. Uh, and the county is turning things around rather quickly, um, generally no later than um, 24 hours. Uh, but the fact that we're going to take um, quite a bit of the burden off of them by doing this in-house testing um, should help the county with their throughput as well. So really kind of a win-win for our hospital and for the county as well.